My grandparents are coming over for breakfast. We're gonna make bacon, eggs, pancakes. I'm curious who has tried these. Here's the secret for keto pancakes. You have to mix them up. I usually add an egg or two. And then cinnamon, I add a lot of cinnamon, and extra vanilla. And you won't even be able to tell. Good morning, welcome to the Keto Mom page. Today, we are talking about the crossed wires in your brain. And she was just right on his, she was after it. He said, I am prepping to do some recordings. And I was trying to make my hair look good, and then I'm like, "What? What? What's going on? You look just at, said that. <laughs> look at this. You just said that. Who's the next person that wants to go? This is actually something I have not talked about. So hair. Ignore if there's any grace. I often get asked, have I lost hair doing keto? And you wanna know something that I've learned? If any of you ladies out there have had hair issues and you've done keto or you've done a diet, this is what I know. A super strict keto diet can affect hormones and it does, right? And actually for years I ignored the hormonal signs and I did not get my hormones tested and I didn't do anything. And then two years after my hair was falling out, it has nothing to, there's so many factors. This is what I've learned from the doctors. Number one, women don't eat enough protein. And so protein is huge. Oftentimes ladies will go, but I'm getting knocked out of ketosis, eating too much protein. That's why I drink ketones. Uh, protein, you have to eat your protein. That helps with your hair. Secondly, I just had a blood panel done. I had things checked overall. It wasn't bad, but I was super low in my iron. So there was a couple things that, I just think sometimes it's easy to ignore those like little things that you're like, ooh, I don't know, I'm too busy. I don't feel like going to get checked. Um, but I think it's important. And so I've been taking just vitamins. I feel great. So like, I don't obsess about my macros. I actually probably overeat protein. I've got a ton of hair growth and it is thinner down here, but I'm not willing to cut it off. So I just have to deal with like this really thick and I'm thankful, right? Because I upped protein, I will not underdo protein and the collagen in my keto cream is super great. And I take vitamins, I drink my ketones, I feel amazing, and that's all I have to say. So here's your tip of the day. Your body tells you lots of things. You just have to choose to either listen or ignore it, right? I often say, are you hungry or you're not? Your body will tell you. You clearly can tell when you're thirsty, right? You feel dehydrated. There's lots of things that go on, especially women. Don't ignore it. Ask questions, reach out to somebody that you trust. Uh, your body talks to you. You just have to listen, take a little bit of time, dig into it and figure out what it is.